How's it going, my friends, fellow hopheads? My name is Andrew. Welcome to the very first episode of Drewski's Brewskies. In this very first review on the channel, we're going to be starting with one that sounds pretty good, very refreshing for the summertime. We're going to be reviewing Noon Whistles Fuzzy Smack Berliner Weiss with Peach. Stay tuned. Once again, welcome to the very first review on Drewski's Brewskies. Thank you all for tuning in, and I really appreciate your love and support for the channel. But let's get on with the review at hand, shall we? As I stated, we're going to be reviewing Fuzzy Smack Berliner Weiss with Peach by Noon Whistle Brewing. Um, and in fact, I believe that is how it's pronounced in the German way. Um, if I am wrong, feel free to make fun of me and ridicule me in the comments because I know some of you probably will already. But anyways, let's take a look at this bad boy. I will give you guys a close-up, of course. Um, this is a 4.6 ABV, so it's a pretty low one, but uh, I'm thinking this is going to be more of a summertime crusher, kind of. Um, as you know, as many of you may know, uh, Berliner Weisses are, um, you know, they're, they're sour, they're tart, very refreshing. Um, and uh, with peach, I'm thinking, you know, like I said, very summertime, very, um, you know, very easy to drink in warm weather. We've been having quite a bit of that lately. In fact, this past weekend, uh, we got up to somewhere around 97, 98 with a heat index of 110. Now, I know some of you are probably like, oh, that's nothing. Well, here in Chicago, that's pretty darn hot, so uh, I don't want to hear it. But anyways, a little bit of information. Yeah, Noon Whistle Brewing. They're from Lombard, Illinois, so uh, yeah, close to my area, but not quite. Um, they're still a bit further away. Um, so, um, description of the beer. Um, again, this is a Berliner Weiss with peach. Um, flavor profile, according to the can, is crisp and refreshing. A gentle fuzzy rub before the smack of the bursting peach flavor. Well, let's hope that's the case. Um, fuzzy smack, that almost kind of reminds me of like a candy. So I'm thinking maybe, um, obviously it's going to have the sweetness of the peach, but I'm thinking maybe a little bit of a, a candiness to it, like a, like a peach ring or something. I hope so, because I really love peach rings. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's pour this bad boy into a glass and see what it looks like. Uh, a very interesting ring pull on this can. Never seen anything quite like it. Um, I'm thinking that actually from the looks of it, and again, I'll give you a close-up, um, but it looks like this whole top is going to come off. It doesn't look like it's just going to have like a little, it doesn't look like it's going to have a little tab. It almost looks like um, the whole top of it's going to come off. We're going to see if my uh, intuition was correct, but uh, let's get a crack and see. Um, oh yes, I was right. <laughs> it took me a minute to figure it out, but yes, the whole entire top does come off, so it's actually more of like a cup now, but um, even though it is like a cup, we're still going to pour it into one so we can see what the, the color and the the, uh, the looks of it are, so to speak. And it's a nice looking, nice refreshing looking color. I can smell it already and it does smell very, uh, it does smell very refreshing. So, uh, yeah, it's a nice, uh, kind of a goldeny orange color. Um, almost kind of the same color as... It's actually a pretty standard beer color. It's nothing too fancy, but um, it does have quite a bit of haze in it. In fact, hey, you can't really see through it at all. It's pretty, pretty hazy, which I, I know... Um, I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't really actually know, you know if I would describe it as hazy. I'm not, I'm not an expert in beer, by the way. I just really like it. Um, but it, you cannot really, you can't see through it at all. It is very, um, you know, it's not very transparent. So I guess it does have quite a bit of haze to it. Um, but it's not technically a hazy beer. So um, I don't know if I want to really say that because I know some of you who actually are um, beer connoisseurs will probably ridicule me for it. But um, I do appreciate constructive criticism. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, well, let's get on to it. Give it a smell. Oh. Yeah, very standard um, Berliner Weiss smell. Like I said, very sour, tart, um, fruity smell. Um, 
a little bit of peach. It's actually, actually surprisingly, it's a fresh peach. It's not like a candy peach, which I wasn't expecting just based off of the kind of the, I don't know, just the, the name of it. I don't know, it's just me being presumptuous, but um, it is a very fresh peach smell. It's not like um, candy peach. But the moment that I've been waiting for, and I'm sure many of you have been waiting for, let's give her a taste. Oh, yes. Much like the smell, it is a very fresh peach taste. It's a natural peach. Um, in fact, um, yeah, I would say it's not even close to being a candy at all. So I, I was wrong, but um, I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, yeah, it's it's very it's a very fresh peach taste. When you first when it first gets in your mouth, like initially, it is very just tart kind of soury, which much like most vice beers are, um, you know, that's kind of the initial bite. Um, but once you kind of get past that and you let it sit on your tongue for a little bit, um, that's when you start to get kind of that, that, that natural, fresh, like off the tree peach, um, like peach juice, which I don't even think that's a thing, but now it is. Um, and then after that, you kind of get, um, I don't know how to describe it, like, um, I don't know, like a natural taste. I, I don't really don't know how to put it. Um, it's a taste I can't really describe. It's not a bad taste at all. Um, but I, I have noticed that a lot of, again, a lot of Weiss, Weiss beers kind of have that same aftertaste, that tinge afterwards. So it might just be in the way that it's made. But um, this, I could easily see myself drinking this in, say, like. I mean, up to probably pretty hot. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I would have been able to drink it over the weekend. At least not outside, because I, I don't know if I would have been able to drink any beer outside in 110 degree heat um, without dying on the inside and maybe the outside. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I mean, this is very easy to drink. Um, I could probably kill a can of this pretty fast. Um, <coughs> oh, man, the beer burps are already kicking in. Um, yeah, very easy to drink, nice summertime beer, um, very refreshing, very crisp on the tongue, um, and the sourness is not really, oh, it's not overwhelming either, um, which I think kind of is where, uh, vice beers and actual sour beers are different, um, from what I've experienced anyways, is that sours are more supposed to be, like, sour, like, smack you in the face, like, you know, sour, as hence the name. Um, whereas vice beers are more just tart, um, with a, it's a tart fruity with a tiny bit of sourness. Um, that's just what, from what I've experienced. Um, like I said, not a beer connoisseur by any means, but um, it's going to give you that little bit of a taste to kind of cleanse your palate a little bit and make you feel like you're drinking a little bit of like lemonade. That probably sounds really stupid to some of you, but I'm gonna go with it. Um, but yeah, so um, since you, this is my first review, I have to come up with a rating system. Um, I'm gonna go with Hop Leaves, AKA Stars. Um, so from one to five. Out of five, I think I would give this, um, I think I'd give this a solid 4.5. Um, now, the kind of where it's, I don't know, to me where it's lacking is, if anything, uh, the peach doesn't stay with you for very long. Um, it, it's the taste of the peach, I mean it's there, you can definitely tell that it's peach, but um, it's just, it's not a very lasting flavor. Um, like right now on my tongue, I, I mean I can tell that I've had beer, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what flavor it was if I magically got short term memory loss and forgot what I drank five seconds ago. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you that it's peach afterwards, um, I mean maybe when I burp, but um, so I think if anything that's be where, be where it's lacking, but overall it's a, it's a very good beer. Um, uh, so if you guys are in the Lombard, er Lombard area, uh, be sure to stop at Noon Whistle, They're, uh, it's the only beer I've ever had from them I believe, but uh, from base walk with the first one I can say I'm, I'd be willing to give more of their beer a try. I actually didn't get this at the brewery, I got this set up beer store but 
Um, nonetheless. Um, so yeah, 4.5 hop leaves out of 5. Um, definitely recommend it. Uh, perfect summertime crusher. And that's a wrap for this video. I thank you all very much for watching. Uh, please hit that like button, leave me a nice comment or constructive criticism in any way. Um, if there's anything that you'd like me to go over more in a review, please do let me know. Um, I kind of came up just with a very basic outline for reviews. I wasn't, I didn't really think of going, like I didn't really, I kind of just came up with a basic format, so to speak. Um, I tried to give you guys a good description of the flavor and a lot of information about the beer, you know, ABV and stuff like that, and you know, brewery you name and all that kind of stuff. But um, um, if there's anything more specifically you'd like me to go into, please do let me know. Um, I'm open for uh, you know criticism and uh, you know uh, advice and things like that about you know specifically what you'd like to see or things you'd like me to describe or you know information you'd like. Um, um, and I do apologize if the video was a bit rambly, like I said, it's my first review, so I'm still kind of trying to get the, the format and the, you know, the way to do it, um, under my belt. I'm still pretty new with reviews in general, um, but with this being my first one, um, on this channel, it's, I do apologize if it was a bit rambly, but I do hope you enjoyed anyways. Like I said, hit that like button, uh, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to turn that bell on for notifications to whenever I crack open a new one. And um, there will be a new video coming hopefully at the end of this week. I'm going to be doing my very first brewery spotlight. I'm not going to reveal what it is yet. Um, but do know that it is one of my favorite places to go. Um, so stay tuned for that very first brewery spotlight hopefully coming later this week, this weekend maybe. Stay tuned for more content. If there's any beer specifically that you'd like me to try and review, um, again, leave that in the comments below. I'll see if I can get a hold of it. Me try Noon Whistles, Fuzzy Smack, Berliner Weiss with Peach. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.